Hello and welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here. Today we are reviewing a fighter jet. Okay, this is one of a kind because I generally just check out piston engine airplanes on the channel. But today I got a special invite to check these out. Okay, the airplane you see behind me is called the L39 and it's a fighter jet basically and a lot of these aircraft are still active around the world anyway stay tuned we're gonna check out all the nicks and knacks i'm excited so guys i'm down in north virginia very close to a lot of military action here and in front of me is an l39 this is like a big brother so they're different models and series to this aircraft uh, but this one is, to me, top-notch. I actually just went for my first flight in this. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about that later, but just, just check it out. Just take a minute. Look at, just look at the, the design of this thing, the nose. You've never seen, I've never seen anything like it. Okay, love the color scheme. Uh, they painted it white, black, red, and you see back there, it's got red tails. And I'll, I'll give you a little history uh, of this airplane but also the owner of this airplane he actually owns about three of these and he collects them he basically buys them fix them up and he uses it for his own pleasure but also for a foundation that uh, they've started out here okay but anyway let's go around it I mean this thing is <laughs> it's beautiful as you can see it is retractable landing gear, so this is not your boy toy stuff. This is this is this is the a big man's toy, so to speak. And this is this is a jet. Okay, it's a jet engine in there. Um, from what I've been told, this the original engine. Obviously, it's a, it's a very old aircraft, so they've switched out uh, to a newer engine. It, it is the same fit and model, and I believe the engine has 300. And 50 or 370 or so horsepower it's a turbine engine but anyway let's let's go through see up here it's a two-seater aircraft so you have your piloting command will sit in front here and I'll show you the interior in a little bit and then you can have your passenger in the back where I was sitting earlier and to get into this airplane uh, whether you're coming in from the front or to the back, I'll tell you, for example, the way I got in to the back. So you usually put your first step here, which is your left foot, and then you climb. You're holding this, by the way, when you put your foot in, you're holding this, and then you've got foot racks in here too. So one there, your right foot goes there, and then bam, another step up until you get and then you put your uh, foot on the interior or on the seat okay it's the the corner way to your turbo fan <laughs> engine in there uh very smooth engine by the way the flight was really smooth but anyway let's go around the airplane so as you can see here really really short wings that's the first thing you'll notice about this airplane the long body frame is attached to really, really short wings. And if you know anything about short wings, it means aerobatics. And it also means speed. Okay, shorter wings airplane, you generally have them uh, for aerobatics. And also it means you gotta, you gotta watch your speed in this things because they will keep flying. All right, so just going around it, you've got your flaps and ailerons says no push so we're not touching this okay flap sailor runs here again the the engine bay is in there what does this say American patch oh Patriot American Patriot uh, this is a military like I said it's a military aircraft the history behind it. let's let's get into the history so originally these aircraft were designed in Czechoslovakia and this was like way back in the early 60s and they didn't really come into play until maybe a decade later in the 70s and what they generally used them for as you can see the you can't really see through the hell but yeah there you go it goes our turbine engine in there right so what they use these for 
man <laughs> sorry i'm cutting off the story but i'm just amazed by this thing you can see the rudder all the way up okay this thing is sitting real high you've got your elevators okay left and right your big rudders all the way up there and like i said the owner painted these uh well this particular one red tails um and i think the color is beautiful but let's get back let's get back to to the history so they were originally designed in czech and they used them primarily to train uh military fighter pilots okay it was really a trainer aircraft and it's been used all around the world especially in the middle east you still have a lot of these that are being used for training and in places i read that in places like syria even in nigeria where i'm from uh, and in some other like western or eastern african countries they still use this actively as a military fighter jet for like light light stuff uh so they're still being used and they're still very active you just went up for a flight in this and it just is so smooth i know it's probably the pilot also flying it but i didn't i was nervous at first and you guys i'll show you the flight video there uh, but it flies so smoothly uh, and you can do so <laughs> steep steep turns in these things um, but anyway and so the the owner of this airplane now he has about three of them and he collect these to use them for the foundation here and we'll, we'll get to talk to the owner in a little bit you got to stay up for another video for that so that's the foundation it's called forgotten heroes trust okay and the foundation uh they use it to educate younger kids uh who may be interested in aviation you guys can check out the link i'm leaving the link for that foundation below and with this i'm not gonna get into super technical details because i'm looking out for the for the average viewer here okay uh the body frame here is all aluminum okay all aluminum body frame thrust full power you're looking at mm, 3000 and some change so it's not the fastest fighter jet out there but this thing will cross 400 miles per hour again i was just in it just climbing up we were already at 200 knots Okay, so that's super fast. Your average piston engine airplane will not even show 200 knots, except it's like way high up and you got some pretty good tailwind. But these jets can fly that fast. And the only downside to them is the fuel consumption, which I'll leave some numbers in the description below. But it also means that this thing has burned a lot of fuel. I believe the maximum endurance you have in this, you may have about an hour. So you can go 300 to 400 miles, depending on how fast you're traveling. So you don't buy these for the fuel economy. You buy these because you want to go fast and you want to get some jet time. Okay, so let's get in the interior and I'll show you some of the cool stuff in there. Just give me one minute. As you can see, the canopy opens upright to the right. So you open them and push them up to the right like that. And to get in, you've got your steps here. And like I said earlier, you've got loops for your foot. Same in front. And you've got two back here. So one, one there and then another one here. And you kind of do like a zigzag with them. But anyway... So let's get in. First foot there, and I'm holding on to this. I pull myself up, and then my other foot goes in there. And that's how you pull up normally, but let me show you what's in here, okay? So this is your cockpit. And as you can see, this, uh, this aircraft has been highly, highly upgraded. It's all glass in here. You still got some of your analog stuff. But you see it's a Garmin screen there. You've got Dynan also for your EFIS. And all your radios are pretty much upgraded in here. Um, this is a single middle stick. As you can see, a lot of fighter jets, you might have a side stick to the side. Um, excuse me one second, let the helicopter go. But with this aircraft, it's, it's one single uh, stick in the middle. And as you can see, this is the sit for the pilot. You've got 
your heavy headrest there. Now, also, you should know that you wear helmets when you're flying one of these. And another thing you don't see that's common in other airplanes is this. Okay, this is a parachute vest. And when you're going up in one of these, you want to wear it. All right, let me talk to you about some other stuff that I also know. Okay, so if you look at your switches here, this heavy metal thin or silver thin here that's your throttle okay your throttle is to the left you've got your brake right there you see that red lever those are brakes your rudder pedals all the way down there and these controls are also in the back seat which I'll show you okay you've got a bunch of your emergency stuff here okay in case of a fire engine shut off all that cool stuff but let me show you some some of the stuff with the seats because i had to learn this before this was part of my briefing before we went for a flight okay see this orange tab here oops see that right there so when you are seated when you're fully seated in this seat first of all you got to hook all of this up all right because you have to be strapped properly on the seat if once you do that once you strap yourself up and you need to lean forward because once you're strapped up you're you're completely glued to the seat and so if you need to lean forward you push that forward and this will release the tab here for you to be able to move a little bit forward now also again let's say there's an emergency during your flight and you need to get out of the airplane okay the first thing you'll do is you release this here which is your your release for to lock the canopy so you you put this to open and just slightly push up on the canopy to to give you some room and once it's once it's pushed up quite like that the uh the thin should fly off okay and now you've got the canopy open but guess what? You got to get the hell up out of the airplane in midair. And you see this red lever here. You push that and that releases the seat also. And once your, your seat is basically unstrapped, uh, say you, you can get out of the airplane upside down, inverted. You just basically get your butt out or if you have to climb out, whichever the case may be. I mean, it's all technical stuff and I'm hoping nobody ever has to go through that. But in a military training or in situations like that, you know, you're properly trained for emergency situations like that. Uh, but like I said, this aircraft in the U.S., it's, it's pretty much a collectible item. But all around the world, uh, they still use this actively. Uh, in their military and you see let's show some of the analog screens here okay let's look at those uh, I'm not sure how functional those are but you can always use them as backup okay but your main stuff is glass which is very very neat all right your gear lever this is a retractable landing gear so that's your lever right there uh, let me see any cool stuff I can point out uh, on here no there isn't so let's go to the back and now like i said a lot of this the main controls for the ailerons uh flaps your throttle is also in the back seat so let me let me show you what it's like in the back seat so guys similar to the front your sit-in position is also almost the same in the back except you you have the basic controls back here um, but the main pilot really is up front, okay? But let me show you. So you got like a mini cockpit here too. As you can see, that's a G5. That's something that's generally used as a backup avionics. Um, but earlier when we, when I went on, on a flight in this, I was able to tell uh, what we were doing. I saw our speeds, altitude, uh, the angle of the airplane, all of that good stuff. And just as you have up front, you also have still your analog gauges back here. And so you're able to tell what's going on. And as you can see, some vent right there. It didn't get super hot, even though I had the suit on, it didn't get super hot in here. But you, you, you still have the major stuff to, to control this aircraft from back here. You see also the landing gear tab, you can use that and just like you have in the front you also have your throttle uh, right there okay and you have your stick 
as well your control stick right there and the same thing your headrest you also have to have a helmet on back here and similar to the emergency procedures uh, that you have with pilot and command you also have the same thing here in case of an emergency first when you first sit in this aircraft you're wearing this which is your parachute and in case of an emergency if you need to get out you follow the same thing use this tab right here get that canopy open uh, get yourself unstrapped well not unstrapped you're still strapped to the seat but you use that red lever there to release uh, the seat from the aircraft and you can get out now if you see something here it says seat eject now I don't think that's functional in this particular airplane but you have fighter jets have that option where that is functional and basically you hit that switch and boom you eject yourself with your seat out of the airplane with your parachute so it all works out well but anyway this was a sweet ride and I can tell you man it was I was nervous to fly this thing but on the flight it was so smooth either the air was smooth the pilot flew great um, but the, the airplane itself handled so smoothly, even in all the steep stuff and the loops that we did. We did aileron rolls, which was amazing. I was so excited, I asked him to do one more. Uh, but this, guys, this is the L39. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. And also, if this is your first time on Mojo Grip, my name is Mike. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you get all of my video updates and also if you're not a member on mojo grip mvp the link is below become an mvp member and get all exclusive access okay guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one